S E C. That chant will more than likely be heard win or lose Saturday in Norman because we're playing one of the SEC's finest teams. They might not be Alabama. They might not be Auburn. They might not even be Florida. But Tennessee has some history. Just ask our old buddy from country music that I've listened to. I love to listen to it. Kenny Chesney. That not good enough for it? Ask Heath Schubiller. Jason Witten. Or even Peyton Manning. So Schubler and Chesney and Witten and Peyton. Their voles will be invading Norman. Those are going to be some that you might, ex maybe at least one of those, two of those people to be in Norman. Expected to be. Find out who we expected to be there, but won't be there. Shocker here. Plus, the preview for the game this weekend in the Big 12 versus undefeated Tennessee and our undefeated Oklahoma Sooner Boomers. It's time to sing Boomer Sooner. It's time to jump aboard the schooner. Let's go! <laughs> And, and the old, and the good old sugar bowl uh, uh, souvenir ticket holder thing. Here it is. <laughs> it's the one that everybody's been waiting on. Oklahoma and Tennessee, and it's happening. Game two. It will be Saturday on Owen Field at 7 p.m. on your local. A, B, C, affiliate. No ESPN. No ESPN2. No ESPN Classic. No split coverage. The game in the Big 12 will be between two undefeateds. Oklahoma and Tennessee. No split coverage. A, B, C, National. Rewind. We'll get to see our Sooner Schooners. Something important to know to all the Schooner Sooner fans out there. If you are in an odd section of the stadium, meaning that, um, let's see, let's see where I am exactly. Row 16. So I'm in the even rows. Odd rows, wear your cream. White polos, t-shirts. Uh, hats, braid a hoodie or so if you have to, evens like me, wear your crimson, students, wear your crimson, you're red. What about the people wearing orange? Well, this is not puke orange, like LSU or Texas. <laughs> but one thing that can be said is the unpukable orange will not have their Tennessee band with them. No Rocky Top. At least as far as the band is concerned. I strongly hope that's because all the fans bought up the bought up the band section. Because let me tell you probably 
I, I've been back here for a few years now. Florida State was awesome. Notre Dame was fun, win or lose. Would have rather had the win, though. And then there's this one. My goodness. If Tennessee and Oklahoma could do this. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get done with the preview. It'll take place on ABC. The weather conditions. Uh, 73 degrees during the day and early morning and after, uh, during the morning and afternoon with a 20 shot, 20% chance of, uh, rain. Later in the day, the later half of the day, the late afternoon and evening, the rain chances go down to 10%, as does the temp. 55! You might need a beanie, you might need a hoodie, you might need a jacket, bring it. It's going to be cold. When's the last time you were able to say that for a football game in Norman in September? Broadcasts. Radio broadcast, sooner radio broadcast. Toby Rowland, T. Rowe in the morning show. My good buddy, Toby, T. Rowe. He'll do it. He'll be your PBP, play-by-play -play man. Along with the color man, Merv Johnson. The uh, big S sidelines will go to uh, Chris Plank out of Tulsa. Along with all uh, Toby's buddies from Sports Top 100, 1400, Dusty Dvorak, and Teddy Lehman. What about that national broadcast I was saying? Who's doing that? Well... The new man on campus, of course, who used to do this thing. Uh, you are looking live from Norman, Oklahoma. Not doing it anymore. He's over on the SEC Network, Brett Musburger. He'll be back for Big 12 basketball, but football, primetime games, it's now done by Chris Fowler. And uh, the color man is Kirk Herbstreet. And sideline reporter is uh, Heather Cox. Let me tell you, it'd be cool if the sideline reporter was Lee Corso. <laughs> Could you imagine that? You have Chris Fowler and Lee Corso, or Chris Fowler and Kirk Kerbstreet on the game call, and Lee Corso as a sideline analyst. Man, that would be awesome. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> but uh, um, that could be interesting to see that. Uh, T2K, things to know. Bob Stoops is a pretty good record against the SEC. He's 3-3 three three against sec opponents. The loss is coming in 99 to uh, uh, Ole Miss. 2004 to LSU. 2010 to Florida. And then in 2012 to Texas A&M. But the wins came... In 2001 against Arkansas, and in 2002 and 2003, and most recently in 2013, all three of those wins against Big Bad Alabama. The record history between these two clubs, one and one, both in bowl games. The loss came in 1938, which was Bob, which was Oklahoma's first bowl game invite, and the Schooner Sooners were snubbed 17 to nothing in the Orange Bowl in 1938. But then, almost 30, almost tw uh, tw exactly 29 years later, in 1969. 26-24 victory for Oklahoma, their first ever over the Tennessee Volunteers. And uh, almost didn't get that one. We all remember that was the that was the year that, uh, that they they told Owens to, to run the ball up the middle with their All-American, their Gabe Eichern, their All-American for four years, and he was snubbed. 
and uh, Fairbanks said that he shouldn't have done that. Uh, they ended up missing the kick uh, to give Oklahoma the, vi the victory in their second meeting in the Orange Bowl. Uh, breaking down of the teams of Tennessee and Oklahoma. Break found, first of all, for Tennessee, their head man, their coach is Butch Jones. He's in his second year with Tennessee. He's also been at Central Michigan, Cincinnati, and, of course, now in his second year at Tennessee. Overall, he has a winning record of 57-34 and 34 with, to match a 626 winning average. Last year, though, they went 5-7. and seven, to match two and six, to match them sixth place in the SEC East last year. Their best win last year was over fellow SEC East opponent South Carolina, 23-21 win in Knoxville. The bull record for. Mr. Butch Jones is 1-2 and two with a .333 average. And uh, since 1999, their uh, division or conference uh, 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 finals, uh, uh, titles, sorry, were in 01, 03, 04, and 07. But what about the 2014 version of University of Tennessee. Well, they're 2-0. Oh. They're coming off two straight wins. One over Utah State in Knoxville, 38-7. And then got a big-time win over Arkansas State in Knoxville, 31-19 for that one. As far as Stoops' boys, Stoops is in his 15th year at Oklahoma. All 15 years at OU, as we all know. 158 and 39, 802 winning percentage. Last year, we finished 10 and 3, tied for second place in the Big 12 with Oklahoma State and Texas. Their uh, best win last year that was not a bowl was the Oklahoma State win in Stillwater. 34-24. Eric Stryker picks up the fumble and takes it into the end zone. Their bowl vic they did get their bowl victory to tie it up at seven and seven. Of course, as we realized, as we said earlier, that one was a win over Alabama, 45-31 win in the Sugar Bowl to uh, get Bob back even at 500 in league in bowl action. The conference uh, titles or division titles in the Stoops era for the Sooners came in uh, one came in 2000. Of course, that was the first. 02, 04, 06, 07, 08, 2010, and 2012. Uh, what about this year's version of Oklahoma? They're 2 0. They got a 48 16 win over Louisiana Tech earlier this year. And then won at Tulsa 50, 52 7 in the, uh, up, the road, up the turnpike in Tulsa. Uh, the uh, please don't forget segment. Please don't forget the rules of the field. Stripe Owen Field. These are for the uh, these up here. The odd, even, odd, even, and students wear your crimson or red, if you will. Let's let's make this thing show. Make it show. Make it fun. Um. There's also going to be like a special little camera that's going to follow you through, and you can tag yourself in the vid in the uh, photograph uh, should you want to. Uh, I hope to see a lot of y'all out in Norman. Let's let's move this thing around. Let's move on. Uh, I'll try to get the post game show up as soon as I can, um, and a pregame, of course, to West Virginia. I don't exactly know when the pregame to West Virginia is going to be up. I am going on my vacation for this year to Morgantown. I'm leaving on Wednesday. I'll try to have the preview show up by that time. Um, but a, a postgame show obviously can't be put up until I get back. Uh, and I'm getting back on Sunday night at 1030. So the postgame probably won't even be up till either Monday or Tuesday of the following week. 
Um, until that time, guys, there will be a post-game show, as you know, and a preview show for West Virginia, if I can get it done. Um, until then, though, guys, have fun at this one. It's going to be a blast. I'm really looking forward to this one. This one, I've had this one circled. It's an orange that we can actually stand. And they'll be in Norman on Saturday. The third ever meeting. Let's try to uneven this even, all right? Let's try to uneven this series 2-1 in favor of Oklahoma. Everybody thinks we can do it. So, guys, let's just get out there and prove that we can do it. Boomer Sooner! All right, guys. And I just wanted to remind you all, please, 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 don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at SoonerFanOK, or, or uh, you can follow me on Facebook with... Uh, the keyword at Harry James, or uh, with the keyword Harry James Taylor. Thanks, guys. I love y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more up-to-date stuff on Boomer Sooner 1982. Thanks. Peace out.